Hello everyone again, Frank Demore here. Today is February the 22nd, 2012, and if you just found me at my um, YouTube channel, this is the last Chronicles of Planet Earth ministry where I connect Bible prophecy with the last day's events. And of course, if you go to my website, which you will see up here, BibleProphecyMan.com, be able to go to my uh, site, just follow the link below here, click that link, and you'll be able to download my book. Now earlier today I was giving you some information about Jehovah's Witnesses and I pray for the Jehovah's Witnesses. I know that they're good people, but good people are often misled and this by proof is definitely the case. After doing a seven-year in-depth study, documents, uh, research, uh, being able to prove without a doubt that uh, the Kingdom Halls, the Jehovah's Witness organization, those that are in leading authority that are making decisions for the people of the Watchtower Society have definitely misled them into uh, beliefs of Satan and there's without a doubt that this can be proven now. Well I'm going to move now to another prophecy one of which is cropping up in the news almost every single day and it is important and uh, you'll see it here first of all in Matthew 24 7 when you read this scripture you're gonna find out that the Lord warns us that in the last days we are going to hear about rumors of war and almost every day now we are hearing about the rumors of war between Israel and Iran and even in the United States and Iran as the Iranians refuse to uh, give up their nuclear quest uh, for a nuclear bomb and so in the there's a new video that came out today again discussing the the problem in the Middle East and uh, for example if you go to the three point or three minute thirty minute or three minute thirty second mark in the video you'll see the ambassador talk about if the United States doesn't do it or attack Iran Israel will and of course I've been saying this for a long time that Israel is not going to have a choice they're going to have to do this so let me just for the heck of it move up if I can to the three minute and thirty second mark so you can hear what he's being said here Fox News alert a bipartisan group of senators on Capitol Hill send for one second here for nuclear run and then it will be too late and that is why the senators are right the clock is ticking Iran has to do the right thing and abolish its nuclear program otherwise military action against Iran will be inevitable and I assure you Megan that if the US does not do it and I hope they do Israel will because I would rather have the world you know, condemn a living Israel than console a dead Israel. We will not wait for that. Now that is saying it right the way it is. So again with the rumors of war and of course anybody that knows Bible prophecy knows that the news that we're presently seeing about the rumors of the wars will eventually turn into war and this is again what the Lord showed us in Matthew 24 7 when he said that nation will fight against nation and so in my book if you're brand new to my website there's a, a page in my book that looks just like this this is the Ezekiel 38 war map if you don't know about Ezekiel Ezekiel is the Old Testament one of the Old Testament prophets he was given the complete battle of uh, when Russia was going to unite with Iran and some of the other Islamic nations to go in after Israel to wipe Israel out so this is the news that you're hearing about now about these rumors of war will be eventually leading to the fulfillment of the Ezekiel chapter 38 war now I know that a lot of you are getting uh, messages like this every day for me now saying well Frank you're saying the same thing but it's new news talking about the same old thing that is actually leading to a major prophecy and that's why I'm uh, really giving you this information daily as it comes out because when people see the actual fulfillment of these prophecies then they will know Jesus is true Jesus is about ready to come and hopefully that they will give their lives over to Christ now 
Putin, who is the, one of the leaders from Russia, has once again made a, another statement about uh, Israel. And any time that you see a Russian talk of warning about Israel, uh, you should go back and read Ezekiel chapter 38. Because like I said, the Bible tells us uh, Russia is going to be that major lead into the invasion of Israel. And so let's just read a little bit. As a matter of fact, when you go to my website, you'll see the link down here. Just go ahead and click that link. Obviously, you won't be able to do that in the video right here. It may take a few seconds to load their page. But uh, this way, you'll know that I'm not making this up. This is all current news. <clears throat> so it says the... Uh, Russia warned Israel on Wednesday that attacking Iran would be a disastrous and played down the failure of the UN nuclear agency mission to, uh, to Iran, saying that there is still a chance for new talks over the Iranian atomic program. And obviously, as I've been warning, and as you've already seen in the video today with the ambassador, uh, there's been all kinds of talk. Iran is not going to give up their nuclear quest. We know that by their actions, and there's going to be some kind of major conflict that's coming. It says, of the course of any possible military scenario against Iran will be catastrophic for the region and for the whole system of international relations. Deputy Foreign Minister uh, Gennady Getelov told the news conference. It was one of Russia's starkest warnings against a resorting to force, an option Israel and the United States have not ruled out if they conclude that the diplomacy and increasing sanctions will not stop Iran from developing a nuclear bomb. Now, obviously, it isn't working. The sanctions aren't working. Iran turned around not long ago, and they spent millions and millions of dollars by using gold to buy uh, things because they're they're putting a squash on the American dollar as far as the Iranians go and so that they needed to buy supplies and whatnot so they're bartering with gold and they're doing whatever it takes not to abide by any UN resolution or any UN uh, forcible actions against Iran says, I hope Israel understands all these consequences, and they should also consider the consequences of such actions for themselves. And this is what their, uh, uh, their foreign minister just got through saying. So, says, I hope a realistic approach will prevail along with a sensible assessment. assessment. And, of course, you have Russia and China as well as many uh, allies of the United States are concerned that any military action against Iran could engulf the Middle East into a wider war. And I can assure you that is going to happen. And uh, we know for sure it's going to happen. Now, the timing of when it's going to happen, I can't tell you exactly. But I can tell you we know that it's coming up soon. Why do we know that? Because all the indications of the Ezekiel War heading for us are already in the news. Every one of those nations have made an agreement, an alignment with Russia. And uh, so that shows us, for one thing, that we're very, very close to this attack. And we're seeing the same nations that are listed in these prophecies talk, jive talk to Israel. So we know God's word is going to be fulfilled soon. Now, this last scenario that I want to give to you, again, I just for the new people who are showing up because I'm getting new people subscribing to my YouTube videos and going over to my website daily. Uh, one of the scenarios that could happen, and I mentioned it before, Israel could go in after Iran. Iran could uh, get wiped out, or at least their program would be uh, delayed in any case. And then because of Israel's action, the whole world will turn against them as Zechariah 12.3 shows us already. And there's only a few allies left with Israel. And uh, what could happen is the attack against Iran could generate the Psalm 83 war of which all the bordering nations around Israel may attack Israel. And then at a later date, the Ezekiel 38 war of which probably Putin or one of these other mainstream leaders in Russia will be leading that force against Israel in the last day. So in any case, the news is very important to be watching what's going on in the Middle East and in Russia 
because these are the prophecies that haven't been fulfilled yet, but they will be soon. So we need to have you open your eyes and please pay attention to these warnings by God because he's trying to get your attention. He wants you to be saved and he wants you home and he wants you to receive Jesus today as your Savior. Please don't waste another day. Today is the day of salvation. All you have to do is go to Christ, ask him for that salvation in the blood of the Lamb.